I mean, there are other cities where I could live, but I choose not to live there. I mean, I could live very happily in New York. I could live in Paris. I could live in Amsterdam or London. Um, but there's so many things that hold me here. Not, you know, a very important part of which is the uncertainty of the society, to live in a place where the endings are so being constructed or deconstructed as you every day. Uh, where there's a particular energy of making things that may or may not come out of the extreme circumstances in which we uh, find ourselves in South Africa. So I'd estimated with Warren that we'd made, that I'd made 400 prints in these years. And he said, no, in fact, it's closer to 1,500. Um, mm. So it's a shock how much stuff there is, the excess, the too muchness of it. But I also understand that often you have to have this overabundance to arrive at the next image. And of course, even though it's a big exhibition, it is very much a selection of a much broader body of work. Um, one could, if we'd had, if I'd thought of it and we'd had one more floor, we could have done an interesting floor of, of galleries of failures, of things that were done that didn't work. Like the outtakes. The outtakes, <laughs> kind of more than the outtakes of things that, but which were nonetheless instructive into what one could do. But then I suppose the exhibition can expand endlessly. There are surprises in the early drawings, in the drawings I was making before I did animation, to see how much in those drawings themselves there was a kind of an urge towards narrative, towards process, towards disjointed narrative, which then get played out more fully in the animated films over the last 30 years. So that was a kind of a, a surprise to see how consistent that had been, even though it was a different form. And I suppose there are certain continuities. The presence of printmaking that I realize now has gone on for, for the last 40 years. There's a whole work, there's a whole exhibition we could do of just the prints. And so it's a, on the one hand, it's a big exhibition. On the other hand, even though it's a big exhibition, I think it's about 5% of the work that's actually being shown. No, I think one doesn't get to the essence. One endlessly circles an essence that one never reaches. So it's always a dance around something that you can't quite define, whether it's about process, whether it's about image, whether it's about the history of images, whether it's about how we see things in the world, what happens in the studio. The studio becomes a series of propositions about how to understand the world. But it's not as if one gets to, I mean, even the animated films, which are in a way the heart of the work, they're very disjointed narratives. It's not a clear story. They're a series of riddles which don't have an answer. I think as soon as you have a riddle which has an answer, it becomes much less interesting. You know what it means, there's nothing more to be said. But a riddle where the answer is at the tip of your tongue, but you can never quite find it. And I think with a lot of that ambiguity at the edge of an image is vital in what it is to be making art.